Hey, what's going on guys, Dignal here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make the transitions that you've just seen on screen. Uh, they're very easy to make, and hopefully it'll only take you like a couple minutes. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So, uh, for the first transition, which is going to be on screen once again right now, uh, you're going to want to just grab your two clips right here, make a new video track by pressing Ctrl Shift Q, or right clicking on the gray area and inserting it. Uh, we're going to overlap them by about one second, so let's go to 257 right here. Uh, go ahead and overlap it by a second, make another video track, and hold Control on the one or the track that you just copied, drag it up, and now you have two different instances of the same video right here. So we're going to start off on the top track, just go ahead and click on the cropping tool, enable masking, and make a diagonal line over the corners. It doesn't have to be completely perfect, but it does have to sort of look decent. Uh, now we're going to go to the bottom track and make another mask for the opposite side. So just do that and make sure to redo it if it doesn't look amazing. So uh, it needs to sort of, it needs to overlap in the corner somewhat. Otherwise the transition will not look great at all. And now we got the mask set up. It should look normal here, sort of. There will be sort of a line here, uh, no matter what, but we're going to fix that in just a second. So now we're going to go into our video effects track right here and search for Drop Shadow. It's in the Sapphire plugin, and it'll be very easy to crack if you just Google it or YouTube it or something. I don't know what the kids call it these days, uh, but yeah. Now we're going to go to the uh, the first uh, frame where you know the, uh, the clips overlap. Just click on the copying tool and click on Position. And now we're going to just, if it's on, if it's the bottom mask, we drag it uh, up. And if it's the top mask, we drag it down just like that. And just make sure it, the, the line should overlap with, you know, the visible uh, clip. And we go to the, uh, the last frame where they overlap, uh, which I'm going to do right now, just like that. And we right click and click on restore. And do that on the bottom track as well. And now we have that. Uh, obviously, you can you can just sort of uh, make it better. You can right click on that and click on fast. Do the same thing with that one, and as you can see, that looks a whole lot better. Uh, but as you can see, there is sort of a line here, which is not great. Uh, so what we're actually going to want to do for this is just go to the last uh, frame right here. Uh, go to masking and make a keyframe, and go one frame forward and completely delete the mask. Uh, do the same thing with the bottom track, or you don't actually need to do the same thing with the bottom track. With the bottom track, you can actually just completely delete it. So, uh, as you can see, it'll just sort of fix itself at that point. Uh, you can also just delete the uh, the drop shadow if that's something you're interested in. Uh, it won't work, <laughs> but if you want to do it, be my guest. But as you can see, very smooth, very easy transition that you can make, and it only takes, you know, a couple seconds. Uh, so now we're going to get into the second transition, which is pretty much just the exact same thing, uh, except with, you know, another shape. So just go ahead and overlap it by about a minute, or about a second, I mean, my bad, about a second, and repeat the, the exact same process. But uh, this time, when you enable masking, you just make a, a rectangle right here and make sure that it goes over half the screen. Uh, the half point marker is determined by these groups of dots right here. So just go ahead and do that. Uh, and yeah, it's pretty much just the exact same process. Uh, if you do it normally, it should look, you know, nothing out of the ordinary here. Uh, but now you obviously need to keyframe these. So if it's the right one, you drag it to the l or if it's the left one, you drag it to the right. And if it's the right one, you drag it to the left. So um, once you've done that, you just need to add some drop shadow and you're all good to go. Just apply drop shadow to both of them. And uh, you guessed it, set the um, what have I done here? Right, I haven't keyframed this one. I am very stupid. So just go ahead and drag that back. Uh, and I don't know what I've done here. I think I've done one of them in the wrong order, actually. So, yeah, don't do that. Uh, right, yeah, I've accidentally messed up those keyframes. So I'm just going to go ahead and fix that. But as you can see, it just blends together really well. So now on that frame, we just delete the bottom track. 
and we go one frame forward and uh, just we, we make a keyframe here, one frame forward, delete the mask, and there we go. All right, now if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like down below, comment, subscribe, all that good shit, and I'll see you guys in a couple days, and peace.